Well, for the very first time, the director of public utilities, who's repeatedly declined interviews about the department he oversees, struggles to answer questions we've been raising for an entire year. No further comments. Public Utilities Director Robert Davis was among a packed Cleveland Council chamber where our investigation is now prompting calls for reform. We got major problems in the Division of Water. Councilman Mike Polenzik reacting to our findings. Customers billed tens of thousands of dollars for water they didn't use. A department ranked almost dead last nationwide in customer service and strong-arm billing tactics, including slapping water bills on customers' property taxes as liens. We got major, we, we have people losing their homes over uh, monstrous water bills. Elderly people, people on fixed income. That is unconscionable in the city. That is unconscionable. Last month, top we Cleveland know, pastors we were also alarmed at what we uncovered. So we should begin talking to the uh, commissioner there and also uh, those who are above the commissioner. That has now happened, but for a full year, the water department dodged our requests for interviews. So this was a last resort. Um, basically, we just had a conversation uh, about some of their concerns and uh, we'll continue to meet with them. Uh, and uh, talk about their concerns and hopefully come up with some resolutions. Can you explain why so many customers believe the department is cheating them? Uh, at this time, I'm, I'm not going to comment on the customers at this point in time, but I think in an appropriate time, we can certainly have a conversation uh, surrounding customer service and, and how I believe that uh, uh, we've gotten better in, in what we do. So I would certainly uh, like to welcome that opportunity uh, at a later date. Well, so many, more than 300, uh, have complained to us. And, of course, a J.D. Power survey found that your department ranks near the bottom of every department in the country. Can you explain that? Not at this time. Not at this time. But I, I will, again, we'll, we'll talk about this at a later date. Sure. And, and last question. Exactly how much money did the Water Department raise in revenue last year in water tax liens? I'm not sure. You're not sure? Not sure. You're, no. you're the director of public utilities, I'm you're not sure? I'm the director of public utilities, and I'm sure that I uh, have asked but the you, question and getting the information. Give me that I can't give are, you the are, number right now. But you're pursuing a policy that could cost people their homes, and you don't know if it's I, I, successful I or not? Uh, I have no further comments. Okay? That's a number you should know. You make north of 100000 a year, <laughs> right? Shouldn't these numbers be? I have no be, further comments. Shouldn't those numbers be right top of mind? No further comments. The Water Department has also spent millions on consultants, and serious questions are now being raised about what taxpayers are getting for their money. I'd like to know what our consultant has done to highlight that, to, to, to drill down as to what the problem is in the Division of Water, why this is happening. Meanwhile, our investigation into the Cleveland Water Department will continue this year, raising even more serious questions about how customers are treated. I'm Chief Investigator Ron Regan.